Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing great. I am back with another haul video and I know it's been a very long time so I have it's kind of a mammoth haul video today guys. Plus February is my birthday month. I hope you can grab a cup of coffee and you will enjoy. But I found some really fun things I can't wait to share. I think I'm going to start with the biggest things first and get those out of the way. So first I want to share this. This is a really affordable kit from Prismacolor. I have no idea how long this has been out. I had never seen it or heard about it, so I wanted to make sure and share it. But this was um, one of the gifts I had given to each of my three kids. And they have different levels. They have level one, two, and three. They have all kinds of different subjects. So like I was able to get one for my son that had a Labrador in the front because we have a yellow lab. Um, I got my daughter the one with portraits so she can try to draw portraits. Um, and then I got my son... I don't remember which one I got him, but it wasn't the right one because he was the only one that could care less. He didn't, <laughs> that was the whole one gift he left under the Christmas tree, sadly. But I went back and got my own. I will say I ordered my kids off Dick Blick and they came perfect. Uh, I ordered mine on Amazon and you can see it comes banged up. It also came with quite a few stickers on it. Um, I don't want to show my address. Uh, so if you're getting this for a gift, I would definitely go the Dick Blick route. But this was about $20, I think, $23. It was, per, it was under $25 for sure. So I think it's a fantastic gift. But let me show you what comes in here. You do get online lessons and have not tried those lessons. So I can't speak to how the lessons are. But... Um, lesson here you get to scan that and you can take the lessons online and then inside they have a plastic I guess you could reuse this to like put acrylic paint or something on I really wish they wouldn't use all this plastic <laughs> I'm not gonna lie <laughs> okay so you get a, the color range that they think you need for the lesson as well as some it says turquoise 2h pencils they look like just regular 2H pencils. Um, that's weird. So they don't have an eraser. So it's pure. It's just, I think it's just a regular 2H pencil. And then a colorless blender. They give you a sharpener and then they give you the eraser. Uh, but what I thought was really great is it gives you a grid. So you can, and that's what I wanted this for because I thought having a grid to put on my iPad to be able to visualize where everything is and space it because that's something I still struggle with when I try to draw and mostly I doubt myself and I usually can do okay but it's just like I think this will help remove some of the self-doubt that I have. It comes, with an it comes with the instructions as well as the online lesson you can take. So I think this is really great so I think it would be for all ages. And here is, oh, there's a coupon in case you want another one. And then this is the one you would use in your under your paper pad. Here's your drawing pad. And then this one happened to come with a bag organizer. So yeah, I thought the price point was really good. And this bag isn't actually too terrible quality for the uh, for the price. So yeah, I thought for tw under twenty five dollars, this was a really good value, and two of my three kids approved. <laughs> so that was good. I found this on Amazon. This was a special Christmas treat to myself because I had been wanting to get. Um, I had seen somebody on Instagram post that they have, Derwent has a small wooden box and it was actually made by another artist and I couldn't find that exact one, but I did find this one and I finally found it and it was only $40. I love when I can get the wooden box and I don't have to pay more for it because I think it's beautiful, but usually I don't want to pay very much extra. Look at this gorgeous box. It's so pretty. So it comes with a Derwent. It's a gorgeous box. It's very uh, smooth. There's no bumps or anything on it. Strangely, my Karen Dosh does have bumps. It has some beautiful, uh, looks like brass hardware. Has some beautiful um, gold toned hardware. And the 
course the Derwent label has a section here to open it easily and it's magnetically closed so it's pretty quiet and then here's what the pencils look like they're actually a bit dirty <sighs> okay so they are a bit dirty they might, but this, I think I did wait quite a while. I think I ordered this in November sometime, uh, and I did not get it until January. It did come from um, somewhere in the UK, but that's why I'm sure I was able to get it at such an affordable price. When I looked again, a lot of times they were like 60 or more. So I'm really glad I snagged it when I did. So this one, it looks like these come out. There we go. So there's more magnetic closures right there. This is a 24 set, so it comes with a nice mixture of colors. And honestly, I Color Soft is not my favorite, so I don't think I need the whole range. But they're okay enough to have, you know, nice 24 set. And I've picked up a few individual colors as well. So I think this will be really nice. But what I mostly thought this would be nice for is just like with my watercolor palettes, every season I like to take my full sets and I like to make an individual palette to use for that season of whatever color pencil brand, each of my color pencil brands, <laughs> because I feel like it kind of lets me study them and learn them, learn new mixes and just explore all the colors instead of just picking going to my favorites all the time you know i don't learn anything from that so that's what i really like to do it's kind of like a challenge to myself and so i will be doing this but i will be putting probably derwent light fast which is by far my favorite or maybe ink tense um i'm not sure but i will probably use this to give myself essentially a limited palette to use from one of my favorite derwent brands so but i am very glad i have this the little collector in me loves it. The bargain hunter in me loves it. <laughs> and I just, this these are the kind of things I really love to uh, put in my studio because I know I'm going to love it forever. So very glad I found that. Next is another item I found on Amazon and it is just a black zipper bag for markers. It's a marker case and it has a zipper section in the front. You could put swatches or and that kind of thing in the front and then it unzips has two ha, does have two zippers and then you unzip it and this is a storage case for markers so it's going to fit larger markers so let me see what all fits in here so let's see i definitely need one for my sketch markers there, my sketch markers are going to fit great in there, as well as my Copic markers. I bought this intending to put my Arctic acrylic markers in here because as much as I like using them, I especially like uh, the black set, I, I don't like using them in the box. I don't know. I just wind up piling them and then it turns into like a leaning tower pizza and so I thought I would like to see if they fit. Let's see if they're going to fit. Okay, those are going to fit nice. I wonder if these are going to fit. I really need both of them. These might be a little too long. They might fit. Actually, those those barely might fit. Okay, <laughs> I found it. It's perfect for all of my favorite Castell markers, watercolor markers. All of my watercolor markers are gonna look at this. I finally have a place to put all of my favorite Castell watercolor markers, and now they can be all lined up so pretty. I can find them and they'll stay organized. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my Winsor Newton in here. And let's see, I forget how many slots this had. Okay, so I still have a whole nother row. There's also a little pocket on the end. I'm already liking this one a lot. I'm definitely gonna go grab another one of these. But uh, I just love having them all organized, easy to find, yet put away, because with these markers, they really need to stay horizontal. So I can just lay them down and I don't have to worry about any of their tips drying out or anything. And, but it's easy to grab when I want to use them. 
So this I got at Dick Blick and I was so excited to see they have this because this solves a big problem for me. I have the original Cricut Bright Pad, if you've seen that in a few other videos, I've shared that. Um, I try not to share it too much, honestly, because it's expensive. It was like $50 and I think this one might have been 60 but I have used the original one since 2012 and I've let my kids use it and it still works great. This one is different because it is finally cordless and that is exactly what I needed because so many times I want to use it but I'm in the living room and I'm not next to an outlet. So I was so excited they brought out a cordless version. Let me look at the back really quick and see if there's anything. So it says that this is cordless and rechargeable. Um, here's the control. So everything looks the same as the prior model except for the being cordless, which really that was the only thing I ever, <laughs> I actually wrote into them a few times saying it's perfect except for it needs to be cordless. <laughs> Um, and I'll show you why I love it in just a minute. It does have five brightness settings and it says less eye strain, more detail. I don't know about that. I try to cover mine up. It includes the micro USB cable. Area that lights up is going to be 11 and a half by nine inches. And it says it's a six H hardness surface. I do not know what that means. Okay, let me go ahead and show you though. Okay, so I can't remember if there was any packaging on here, honestly, because I did, I was excited and I wanted to see it. Um, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, let me take this out and show you what is great. They kind of package this like they want to be Apple. Let's see. So they have the instructions here, but it's really easy. I mean, you don't really even need any instructions. And then in here you have the power cord and it just plugs right in so you just plug it in right here when you need when you do need to charge it you just plug it in on top and then you either plug it in I can plug it into my desk because I have the little USB port right on my standing desk I'm still using the FlexiSpot desk that they sent so I have a USB right next to me and it's it's very handy actually uh, that's probably my favorite aspect of the desk actually um, and then you have a plug in if you need it okay but most of the time you can use it without this now let me see so this is what I love about this look how thin this is see how thin that is it makes it really easy and it's very lightweight um, I can't tell what the actual weight is but it's not heavy it's right here it's got simple settings you just turn the power on and then you can make it brighter and I have my studio lights on, but I use this a lot for tracing. Um, and I've used it for dyes and I've used it for other things too, but I use it mostly for tracing. I can take it anywhere with me now and I won't have to worry if I'm near a plug-in. And yeah, in the, in the evening is usually when I get the most time to create and then I don't wanna be in my studio all by myself. <laughs> So very happy Cricut finally gave us this and I can't wait to use this. And the other splurge that I did uh, during Christmas time at Dick Blick was I got this Yugo. This is a plain air, I think it's called Pashad. I don't even know how to say it. I don't want to go, somebody warned me not to go crazy with Pashads. Um, I really do want to start plain air painting and I need to find a way that I can do it, but it's very like discreet, which that sounds crazy for a YouTuber, but I'm just, I'm, I'm shy. Recently, uh, one of our trips to Disney, we, there's this beautiful mural. It's all made out of tile over by the Riviera at Disney World, and it just looks so beautiful. So I really wanted to paint it. And I thought I picked a quiet little spot. And next thing I know, I noticed a few people like watching me. And so that like freaked me out and I had to run. <laughs> So I have to find a way to do it really discreetly. And same with the beach. Um, I'll find a place I like, but it's, it's rare. There's almost always somebody there, but I want to do it discreetly. I don't want people to know that's what I'm doing. So I need to find a way to have everything I need and have a good setup. You can totally make things yourself because I was, I've had actually pretty good luck and I was just using a clipboard and some different clips. So, but I thought maybe if I bought the proper things, it would make it 
a bit easier, especially because a lot of times where I go, it can be windy sometimes. So this is the Yugo, and I think the company is New Wave. This is the six by eight size, and I believe that might be the smallest. I'm hoping that's gonna make it where it's easy to be discreet, and I can just kind of take it and, like, it's a beautiful world. I wanna go paint it. <laughs> okay, so this one, I'm going to be primarily using it for watercolors, but I would also maybe like to try gouache at some point. But it'll probably be watercolors most of the time. Okay. So it's called the Yugo, and then it looks like it has a place to, well, there's hinges right here, so I'm guessing this is how you open it. Yeah, okay. It is kind of hard to open. It's stiff. It's, it is not easy open and close. So if it's windy, this is not going anywhere. That is for sure. And then let's see here. You can change these. You can slide these out so you can put either your, what you want to paint in there or any of that. So it's got magnets to close it and keep it closed. But then this section here is supposed to be magnetic as well. As well. That's what part interested me because I thought it would be nice to have a palette be able to stay there without having to clip it on my clipboard. We'll see if this works. So this was one of my Jackson Black Friday hauls. Um, I did get this at Jackson's. It was like $22 for this little palette, which I thought is perfect because I have, you know, I have many, I have several palettes from Schmink. I kind of collect them, but the travel palette I got from them is, uh, I mean, I'll just say it, it's too precious. I'm not going to take it to the beach. I'm going to be worried something's going to happen to it. I love it. I'll use it in my studio. I'm, I'm not taking it out, but this is the special edition finest mixing set comes with lemon yellow, pure yellow. Pure yellow is definitely my favorite. Quiniquidone, red light, purple magenta, ultramarine finest, and helio cerulean. So really adorable little palette. I mean, this was more affordable than you can get a Prima palette or Van Gogh palette. Just has a few six colors, and then it has a little swatch card. It does have the sharp edges um, that some of the Schmincke palettes have, but I haven't cut myself, <laughs> so let's see how it, so it looks like it holds on there pretty good. Let's see. Okay, definitely sticks on these little side buttons. These are like super magnets, and I will have to see exactly how to do it, but I think, I think that's going to work really well. I think this is going to be a lot of fun and finally might get me a little um, out of my comfort zone and trying to paint outdoors because there's so many places I go now and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I just want to paint it. And I love the small size of this. I think it's going to be really portable and hopefully be able to be um, very portable, but very discreet. And now I just need a little case to put this in that will keep it protected. I will keep you posted and let you know uh, how I'm liking that. From Dick Blick, I finally caved and I finally ordered the full 120 set from the Karen Dosh Pablo pencil. I don't know why I was so, it took me so long to come around to these pencils. I'd had the 18 set for, for years, uh, probably almost five years. Found some hot press paper, hot press watercolor paper that worked really well. Um, so I finally got these and I had seen the price start to go up and then I saw Dick Blick's price go down and that's when I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get them now before the price goes back up again. <laughs> uh, so I went ahead and cut this. I have of course already looked at these to make sure they all arrive safely. And I did want to show you that on the inside, you'll want to cut this because so they have this really great color chart. Um, I take it to my copier and then I print it off on hot press watercolor paper and then I can do my swatches really nice. But I love that it includes the number, the name and the light fast rating. Um, it has the key chart here for which colors for how light fast they are. So I wanted to show you that. So I've had this for a while, so I did open these already, of course, but look 
How beautiful. So each of their Karen Dosh red boxes now come with stickers and make sure you keep these. They come with the uh, watercolor pencils, the Neo colors. Um, I don't have any of these down here, but I like to take these and put these on the sides in the front as well. So I like to keep, I like that they give you all of them. Look at these gorgeous colors. It's so pretty. Okay, so there's different trays, so you just take these different trays out, and it makes it really easy to take these two work surfaces. So I love that they do it like this. Instead of just giving you the flimsy tray, Karen Dosh gives you a real tray. Look, no flopping. <laughs> no flopping anywhere. Okay, and then this tray has even a little, some little wings on the side to make it really easy. So they really thought of everything. Love that the care that they put into their products and their packaging. Okay, so here's the neutral yellows and neutrals. And then look at the range of, of aquas, greens. Oh, they have such a good green. They have such a good mix of green colors. All right, so really, really nice. I will swatch these out sometime, but... Um, I don't think I'm going to swatch them on camera because I don't see how, I don't know. Do you guys like swatches of colored pencil? I'm not, I'm not going to promise a video swatching colored pencils because honestly, I do not like swatching colored pencils. So that will be torture for both of us. <laughs> um, but they are some really unique colors. So at some point I will share my favorite colors and that kind of thing. I will share how I'm liking them and some artwork maybe. Gorgeous set. I'm really glad I went ahead and got them and I can't wait to use them more. Plan on using these especially with my favorite uh, luminance and seeing how they work together and yeah that's what I can't wait to try. All right next look at this gorgeous case. This is the Karen Dosh 80 set of the Prismalo Aquarelle. I think is how you say it. They are water soluble pencils. Found these on Amazon and I'll just admit it. I wanted this for the beautiful case and then I wanted to see what these pencils were because why have I never heard about them? Why the case looks so beautiful. I knew if these wind up selling out and I never got to try them, I would have always wondered what were those magical pencils that I missed out on. It's just art is such an adventure. Let me show you inside. Look at these stunning pencils. Typical Karen Dosh, beautiful color range, but it is inside of another metal case. So that's good. And they, they fit really good in here. So it makes it really good, really easy to fit them side by side. I, I ordered these in November and I should have done more research. I did know that they were kind of Karen Dosh's first go at watercolor pencils, but the reviews were really good on Amazon. Everyone gave it five stars. So I thought, oh, well, I better get those because they must be like discontinued or something like that. Um, I'm very glad I have these in my collection, but let me save you from yourself. They are not very good. In case you're like me and you get where you just want to collect all the pretty things because you don't buy jewelry, you don't buy shoes, you don't buy really anything else. You don't splurge on anything else except for art supplies. So you can get good swatches from them. So I will have fun with them. I will use them, but I won't be reaching for them over my other two favorites and especially my Karen Dosh Museum Aquarelle. In the swatches, they did okay but they actually performed a lot more like a student grade watercolor pencil and not near as good as my other two. And that is why I think they're not available at Diplick and why they're not available at Jackson's Art Supplies because there's better pencils now for the money and these weren't even that much cheaper. I think these are just for collectors who love Karen Dosh products and really want to try all the different brands. I mean, I'll just be honest, I'm very glad I have it. It's so beautiful. It makes me happy just to see it, but their light fast ratings aren't good. Maybe I just had a bad day with them, but I, 
I did not like the way they performed. Maybe I was having a bad day. I don't, but I don't think so. And lastly, from Dick Blick, I did get some new pencils. I found they had these Caran d'Ache metallic pencils. I, I don't know how long these have been available. They are like huge. They are like, they call them maxi, I think they call them. <laughs> Um, so, but look at these pretty colors. I haven't decided if I like metallic pencils or not, but I thought maybe I need to try Caran d'Ache to find out. So let's test these really quick. This is not watercolor paper, which would probably give you the best, but it, this is just the scrap, a black scrap from my, um, Arches watercolor block, I think it was. And this is the metallic. This is... They don't have the color name on it. Okay. So, I don't know, I think this was rose. I think this might've been green. And I think I went for these two colors and the gold and then I thought, well, I might as well just get the last two. <laughs> yeah. So if you have used metallic pencils very much, tell me what I'm missing. I believe this was the green. I'm really not absolutely sure though. Next is a gold. This is number 4.99 and it's the gold. And next is silver. The silver's coming across pretty good. And I wonder if these will work better if I use like watercolor paper. But what I was thinking these would be good for is basically using them like I do my fine tech paints. It's just um, like layering on top. But if you use metallic colored pencils, I would love to know what you do with them. This is silver. Um, because so far I'm just coming up with like doodling leaves and stuff like that. And this is copper. So I think these would be great in the fall especially. And doodling leaves and stuff like that I thought would be really great. This is number 497. But yeah, those are, so I'll show you in the swatches how those come across. Not too bad. Um, I will have to compare them with other kinds, with other brands and see how they perform. But this was, I don't know if this is the best paper, but it's actually too good a paper to waste. So uh, this was just the um, first tear off sheet of the arches block and I didn't want to waste it. So it's too good a paper to waste, but I don't know if it's the best paper for this. Um, yeah, those seem pretty nice. And also from Dick Click, I got, I picked up a few brushes because they had several sales and I, they enticed me somehow. They, they always do. Um, but I think this was free with the purchase of more brushes. Uh, last year sometime, I think the beginning of the year, um, these are my dirty brushes. <laughs> these are pretty dirty. Um, sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, actual art studio. Everything isn't always as clean as I want it to be. These two brushes right here are the Princeton Velvet Touch. And these two have been, these two this year were game changer paint brushes for me for gouache. And so I thought, you know, I haven't ventured on a lot of brushes yet because honestly, I, I hadn't tried any that were that great to me. What I had was just perfectly fine. To me, the paper makes the difference and then the medium. And to me, the brushes is number three. <laughs> so, uh, but I did, they did have a promotion that made me want to try a few brushes. And so for one thing, I wanted to try a new travel brush. I love, I still love my silver black velvet, the Voyage. This is the number eight. This is the size eight. I really love this and I use this all year. I just really wanted a bigger version, but I don't think they offer it. So I decided to try this size 10 and I forget which brand this is. Oh, that's hard. Oh, it's a Skoda. 
So this is from the Escoda. This is the Ultimo line. And I'm not sure. I don't remember what that means. But I will link that in the description. It feels like it's synthetic. And yeah, we'll have to try that. So I like the feel of that. I like the weight of this a lot. But it does feel like... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like that. It feels almost like a little maybe too limp and see, but I really wanted a, uh, a size 10 travel brush. So if you have a favorite size 10 travel brush, uh, please let me know. I think the next one that I was so curious about, I've been really happy with all of my silver black velvet brushes. They're still my favorite. Uh, and so that's why I've never really ventured out. This is a striper brush, which seems like I was wanting this for painting animals, but I can't really remember now. So I just decided to try a few. The only one I think I wish I wouldn't have got is this fan because it's way too small, but I'm sure I'll find a way to use it. Uh, so this is a liner 20 over zero, um, 10 over zero for fine details, especially I wanted to do like whiskers and stuff like that on animals paintings. And then this is a dagger stripper this one, oh, this one's for petals. Okay, so this is the one I'm most excited about. That looks interesting. That looks like that might be the most interesting brush I've ever seen. So this obviously was a Dick exclusive. Um, I think I got this for free when I ordered these. These are for watercolor, acrylic, and oil. And it comes with a round one, a round eight, an angler shader, a uh, quarter inch, and a spotter. This is the round eight. And that is generally my favorite size. And then a 10 and then a 12. Um, oh, wow. This is really spotter. Oh, that's really fine. There's, I mean, that would be teeny, teeny. That could be fun for animals. Because I love fine details. So these might be really good. And then there's a one. That would be good. And then here is an angle shader that's a quarter inch. I've actually just loved these for gouache. And it's actually been really, I, I encourage you, if you're doing gouache, I really encourage you to get this one especially because it forces you to start big. And then, at least for me, I want to do all the fine details. So it kind of like, uh, I watched some guy that has like millions of subscribers and he said you want to paint big first before you go and do the fine detail. And that's, I was getting like distracted by the fine detail and not painting big. So that was a big help for me. I did get this Arches Travel Journal. I was so excited when I saw this was out. I ordered it right away on Dick Blick and I think I, I was late to the party so it was on back order. So it took a little while to get but I have had it for a little while now. So I opened it up. It came, it did come with plastic over it. Um, but this is 100% cotton. It's really just their paper cut down finely spiral with arches is my favorite watercolor paper to use so I really needed to try it once and I was so glad to see that at Dick Blick and then I also did find a smaller block I have never actually invested in very many blocks from arches I think I've only tried one and I got a big one and then of course I can't use it it's too big I think this might be a good size for me this is the 7x10, and let me go ahead and open this. So I've removed the packaging, and this is 140 pound, 100% cotton, and it has 20 sheets. So it is the watercolor block, so it is glued. It is glued down on all four edges. And then, just like every other block, um, I did remove this black paper. But that actually looks pretty decent, so we're going to do something with that later today. Uh, this does have the little, little cut out right here, and that's where you stick a palette knife to remove your page after you're done painting. But it's really nice to have everything down so you can paint without worrying about it, taping it down or anything. And so can't wait to do that, and I think this is going to be my size. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to try this out. 
Uh, Archis is my favorite watercolor paper. I'm always open to trying new ones, but <laughs> I definitely, um, every time I try different papers, I still wind up going back to Archis. Um, I did get, I don't know if these are still there because I did get these in November. Um, Roman Schmal had put on his Facebook page that some colors were being discontinued. My dear friends on Instagram was telling me about the quinacridone burnt orange going away. And thank goodness she did because I hadn't even realized, I hadn't looked into it much. I just kind of like, oh, okay, that's sad, that's going away, but I have those colors. Well, I didn't realize that quinacridone burnt orange was one of them. I believe undersea green too. Let me go ahead and take these out. So this is an affordable package you can get on Amazon. It's about $25. And I've always actually wanted it because I do not have this shade right here, but I have these two. And so I thought I didn't need it yet. Well, now these colors are being discontinued. So I grabbed these in November. So this is the Daniel Smith watercolor um, set the secondary set. This is the one I needed to make sure that I don't run out of because this is quinacridone burnt orange, which is made from PO48, which is one of the pigments that is being discontinued. Um, and this is my favorite all-time color for because I love foxes, and this is my favorite color for foxes. This is a color that's always in my palette, um, no matter the season. It also comes with undersea green, and this is made from PB29 and PO48, and as well as PY150. So this is not one of my go-to colors, but now that I'm starting to do more landscapes, I might find a better use for it. But I know really a lot of people really love it. Um, but I don't know, it's not been, hasn't, hasn't caught me yet. <laughs> uh, but Carbazol Violet is one color I have not tried yet, so I'm excited to try this one. This is made from PV23. Um, I might be swatching these at the end of the video. Next from Amazon, I went ahead and got this little palette. This is from Rosa Gallery. This is their urban sketching set. These are watercolors made in the Ukraine. And I don't hear too much about them, which let me get my larger palette. See if I can find my larger palette. So this is my old palette. So it's it's dirty and it's it's well loved because I really enjoy these paints but I really wanted to wait at least a year before I told you guys what they're like because almost every paint is good right away but you don't know if it's going to crack or mold or you know you just you don't know since these are new and new on the market I really wanted to see how they stood up they mixed well they're really nice um, they're honey formula so they re-wet really well and yeah really great and really affordable i think when i got this set it was like 32 dollars or something for this great palette but of course i i love to have all the colors but i love to paint small with a few colors so i thought i saw this look at this adorable little turquoise palette this is coming across more blue than it is. It's actually kind of a greenish turquoise, which makes my heart, which I actually love. It has the thumb ring on the bottom. I think it would be, I think it's gonna be another great palette to take out and do plain air painting. And it comes with 12 beautiful colors. And I will just read the back to tell you those colors. So this set comes with titanium white, cadmium yellow light, bright red, magenta rose, green, emerald green, cobalt blue, ultramarine, yellow ochre, royal brown, sepia, and neutral black. Okay, so you guys can read all the pigment information if you want to. But I think this is, I'm actually testing a few different of these sets, uh, the urban sketching sets. I wanted to compare them to see which one is the best bang for your buck because that's where I usually like to go. But I really do love these little palettes and now I can switch these colors all around uh, the way I need to and which is what I really love. I love buying the big large set with all the colors because I like to change my colors and find my perfect um, mixing colors. Also from Amazon, I went ahead and picked up these 12 pastel colors, which I swore I wasn't going to do, but my friend Aya here on YouTube, she is an old crafty friend, which I love so much, and she had made a haul video, and I'll link her channel in below because 
she is so sweet you guys she is a primarily a crafter but she has bitten the bug of art supplies <laughs> i love her because she makes me feel better about myself because she'll say things like oh I, these are so pretty i should have had one set to look at and one set to use <laughs> and i very much uh feel that so this is the whole vine pastel set of 12 watercolors and it has some beautiful colors and I kept being tempted by this and it kept going in and out of my cart. But she made a haul video and I just saw them and I thought, yeah, it's gonna, I need to get those. I need those in my life. So thank you for enabling me, Aya. So these are Holbein watercolors and I keep trying more Holbein products and I've really been loving everything I've tried from them. So this is the little pamphlet. It's mostly in Japanese. Um, so I kept talking myself out of it because I know I can mix it. You can take white and mix it, but they're so pretty. And sometimes you just want products that are fun and that you don't have to mix. So I am going to tell you the names of these. I will share the pigment information. I'll have it on the swatches when I eventually swatch these out. So this set comes with Brilliant Pink, Shell Pink, Naples Yellow, Next is Jean Brilliant, I think is how it's pronounced. Leaf Green, Compost Green, Emerald Green, Compost Blue, Horizon Blue, Vietter Blue, Vietter Blue, I don't know how to say that either. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to say that. Lavender, and look at this one. lilac uh, this one might be another one of my favorites because it's made from pr 122 pv 23 and pw6 so i can't wait to do some spring paintings with these I'll probably do an individual video sharing these and the swatches because they'll be great for some spring paintings did get two items from amazon japan aya my dear friend aya had me go check this wonderful product out I did not know I needed this in my life until I saw her video. And I ran to Amazon Japan to see it was only $113. I paid $72, which was still a good price for the smaller palm box with only 12 colors. This is the 36 color set. Um, so this, I was so excited to find that price because you guys know I love Dick Blick. But this was over $300 at Dick Blick. So to pay $113, I thought was really worth it. And half, so I really wanna try more whole line colors and I thought this would be a great way to try them. This, it says, it has 36 colors, a half pan, um, half pan colors with a brush. Yeah, it's the Palm Box. This did take a while to get here, but not too long because it came from Amazon Japan. Oh, this says this product does not carry all necessary health warnings for the USA and Canada. Not for sale. <laughs> Result to the oopsie. It's contraband. <laughs> I did not know that. I did not know I was breaking your rules. So I'm so sorry. But it was such a good price. Um, but I'm sure the one at Dick Plick has all the safety things. But I'm not going to eat my paints. So I'm not worried about it. So let's open this stunning box and check it out. So these are Holbein Artist watercolors, and this is inflammation. This is the set of 36, so you get 36 colors in this set. It's all in Japanese. Look at this. Okay, let's open this. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, mine has a scratch. Okay, so I guess the reason I got these for such a good price is because mine is scratched. It's scratched. Two places right here and right here but maybe there's some way I can get those out. It's been way over 30 days since I ordered it. I think I ordered it before Christmas. Okay, well, that'll just make me use it. I won't worry about ruining it or doing anything. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so the colors in here are English. That's good. It comes with a little travel brush. Um, I wasn't too happy with the travel brush from before. I wonder if it's the same. Hopefully this one is better. The one I had was pretty limp and I didn't really like it very much. We'll see. Okay, so this set comes with permanent alizarin crimson, 
Carmine, Opera, Vermilion Hue, Pyro Red, Namphal Red, Brilliant Orange, Lemon Yellow, Imidanzalone Yellow, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Yellow Ochre, Cadmium Yellow Lemon, Cadmium Yellow Deep, Indian Yellow, Leaf Green, Viridian Hue, Emerald Green Nova, Cadmium Green Pale, Olive Green, Sap Green, Shadow Green, Cobalt Blue, Cerulean Blue, Thalo Blue, Ultramarine Light, Ultramarine Deep, Prussian Blue, Doxazine Violet, Quinacridone Magenta, Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Indian Red, Sepia, and Damselone Brown, Ivory Black, Payne's Gray, and Chinese White. So pretty standard colors, but I think it's going to be great. One thing I did love about the previous palette that looks like this is the same. So when you, um, when you do open their half pans, their half pans, not only do they have the writing with the name on them, um, they have the cute little stamped of Holbein. They each have a magnet already on the bottom. So that's really nice to have the magnet already attached. And this base is mirrored, but it's magnetic. So it makes it really nice that your pans can stay kind of stuck down. Not perfect, not, I mean, they'll still slide a bit, but you can also still get them out really easy. Um, so, but it does make it easy and it's just like an extra step that no other manufacturer that I know takes. So, and then I write the pigment information on the side. So, but I cannot wait to try this out. Um, and then it has this little section here that you can place here and that's what you can use for your mixing section. Hmm. And that was what was a little finicky with the last set. The last set had two actually though. And yeah, I might have to, this won't, can I still put it here? No, that gets in the way. So you, this can only go there. That's the only place you can put it. I don't know, I'll have to see how I like this, but I did get a very good price for it. So I also got some fountain pen things I wanted to share really quick. So I know I got those from Dick Book. So I went ahead and got this Lamy. This is the Amazonite uh, Crystal Ink. And this is an ink I've had on my wish list because my, my wonderful friend Maggie here on YouTube uh, at Creating Cute Art, I'll link her channel below. Um, you guys all know Maggie, right? She has, uh, she put this as one of her favorites in one of her videos. Look at that. That's very pretty. Um, they sell Lamy fountain pens as well as their inks. I think that's fantastic because I love fountain pen inks is my Lamy. This is the rose gold. So this would be available. I did not get this at Dick Blick. I did not know it was available, but just so you know, the, the XL versions are the ones with the black nib. I need to switch this nib out actually for an extra fine. Dick Blick is carrying fountain pens as well as the inks and Ferris Wheel Press inks. I'm actually trying to not get any more fountain pens, so I don't need to go to any fountain pen shops and get enabled. So Art Supply Store is great because it's one stop and it will get me, you know, I won't have to buy $90 worth of things um, to get the one thing that I want. And then, so first I had ordered this, I think in October and it was on back order for a while. And they did ask me a few times if I still wanted it because it was taking longer than expected. This is Stroke of Midnight. This is going to be gorgeous. I'm going to be swatching this out later. And I'm very glad that I got that. Let me go ahead and open it though, just so I can show you one of the things that's wonderful about Ferris Wheel Press is the gorgeous packaging. <laughs> Companies like this, like they, they just get me. They, they have me beautiful products that work well and they take care for their packaging. It's like a beautiful perfume bottle, but you can use it for fountain pens and you can even watercolor with it. So isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. So I will be swatching that out, but isn't that stunning? Uh, so this is Stroke of Midnight. I got this at Dick Blick. I think I ordered this in October, but it did take quite a while and they kept asking if I still wanted it because it took longer than expected. And I was like, oh yes, I still want that. <laughs> I think I did get this in December and I just now getting around to sharing it. And then from Amazon, I did get this Diamine 
uh, Cobalt Jazz because this is a blue. I needed a blue ink with some gold shimmer and for a pen that I have. And then I also got Diatremus the Archive ink and have not tried Diatremus. So that is another one that is supposed to be really good and um, good for watercoloring good for using if you're going to watercolor because it's supposed to be waterproof. And so I thought it'd be great to test with my favorite, which is the Carbon Black by Platinum. And that's what I have in this pen. And then if you are a fountain pen lover, then you might like this. I believe I got this on, um, I believe I got this at Colt Pens, but look at this. So this is a journal page bookmark. So you can take whatever uh, traveler's notebook or this is a journal. This is my gratitude journal and cool. that I use in the living room. And then I can take this and it's just pretty, but it's actually functional because then I can hold those back and I can use it as a bookmark. And this is, I think I have the B one, but that one is so big. It seems like I think that's good for Instagram, but I think this one might be actually a little more user friendly. We'll see. I'm still looking for my perfect bookmark that is pretty, but yet at the end of the day, I need it to be 100% functional, but it's very heavy. So this is from Estabrook, which is one of my favorite um, pen companies currently. And it's really pretty. It's actually much heavier than I thought. So that was from Colt Pens, but I'm not sure shops here in the US will have that as well. But I used it to get just enough to get free shipping. <laughs> All right, so last, I think the rest is from, uh, I think the rest are various orders from Jackson's Art Supplies in the UK. And they had lots of Black Friday sales and um, that kind of thing. But lots of stuff I'm really excited about. Jackson's has some unique items that Dick Blick doesn't have. And sometimes Dick Blick has some items that Jackson's doesn't have. So they're both great stores. Uh, I love getting their trials of watercolor paper and different things like that. So I got this. I would really love to have a dot card in every brand. But at the very least, I uh, a color chart with the actual you know colors is nice so i finally got them and they finally got them back in stock at jackson's for the watercolor chart as well as the um, artist gouache so let me take these out of the package all right so first we'll take a look at the gouache and i find these to be such a good investment because they can keep you from being curious about all the colors this way i can see all the beautiful colors Okay, so this has all of the beautiful colors all swatched out and they also list, okay, so all of the beautiful artist gouache colors and they're all swatched out and they also include the number, the name, as well as the light fast information and how opaque it is, all the valuable information. And I want to say this was about $18, so really not bad. I mean, if it saves me buying some colors just out of curiosity, I, I do wish they list the pigment information on here. I find this information invaluable. You do have to go on the back to see the pigment information. Um, I wish they just listed it here. So they have a color list here that has the name with all the pigment information and then here you have the actual true color swatch that's hand painted very vibrant and look at these metallics oh my gosh i'm going to have to add that pearl copper to my list of <laughs> my wish list available um, and i have the rich gold and i can see now brilliant gold might be good uh, pearl gold uh, they have three different formulas of silver and three of the gold, and now I'll know which ones I have. Um, these are the primary sets you can get. So this says, this is the Extra Fine Brilliant Artist Opaque Watercolors, the gouache. What's interesting though is I thought this would be more colors because I have these, the Spring, the Iridori sets. I don't think they're included in this. Let me see. It seems like I'm missing some colors that I've seen 
in here that I don't see on here. Pale coral. Yeah, I don't see pale coral. Yes, yeah, so this is, um, this must be all except for the Iridori sets. So they said these are artist gouache. So now I'm a little confused because I thought it would show me all the sets to know if I need the other two. <laughs> Uh, part of the reason I got this is because I wanted to know if I really needed these. I don't know. So I guess this is some of the colors, but my guess is these Iridori colors are not on there. And I was thinking it might save me buying 24 more colors <laughs> that I may or may not really need. But I'm still really glad that I got this so I can know uh, which colors to add and which colors I really can live without. So so excited. I had to wait quite a while for this to be back in stock. And so I'm glad to have that. And then I also did get this Holbein. This is the watercolor version. And oh my goodness, look at all these pretty colors. Oh wow, this one's really pretty. Look how beautiful this is. It's just a work of art and it's all done perfectly well. Only thing is on this, either they don't put the, I wish they added the pigment information. Um, I might have to find a way to add that if I could get that somehow. Um, it does include the number, the name, the light fast information, as well as the series and the opacity, it looks like. Um, but really beautiful colors. I really don't want to need, you know, I don't, I want to get just my favorite in this brand. I don't want to collect the whole, <laughs> um, some really pretty quinacridone violet. I hope I have that one. That one's really pretty. Um, but some are, you know, you can't know by the name, like mineral violet. I think I ordered that from the name. Um, some really pretty marine blue. That's really pretty. Um, and then of course you can use this key chart and this lists the pigment information. So you can see that quite a few of them are multi-pigment. Quite a few have white. I'm so glad to have that color chart. And then look what is new to Jackson's. The A Gallo watercolor dot card. Look at this beautiful Look at how beautiful they presented this. This is the dot card. It says the complete collection. And I believe this is 66 colors. Look at this beautiful folder it comes in. And then it's got two different sheets. They're both protected really well. So these are the A Gallo. These are the honey colors. And they're very expensive paints. They're a joy to use, but they're very expensive. And Oh, they're, they're, if you, they're the ultimate splurge to yourself and, but they're very expensive. So I really only recommend getting the colors you know you'll love. Um, but they come in a protective sleeve and then they also come with, um, A Gallo is an artisan a handmade watercolor. They're very splurge worthy, but they're very expensive and they really are to me, they're, I don't think they're for beginners. I think they're for people who know they love watercolors and really just want to try the handmade versions. Um, I'm afraid if you're a beginner and you try them, honestly, you might be disappointed because they're not gonna make you paint better. So I'm going to try to remove this parchment and hopefully it is sticking quite a bit. Ooh, it's sticking pretty, it's sticking quite a lot. Because of the honey, these are sticking a bit. Oh my gosh, look at all those gorgeous colors. I cannot wait to swatch all these out, but it'll be such good reference. And look what they've done. This is what I love about A Gallo. They, the presentation, the thought that goes into it is that's why they're more expensive. They use, they try to use um, the finest pigments and they use local honey and they use rosemary oil you can smell just 
tiniest bit of rosemary just from the dots just the tiniest of it it's not overwhelming at all but look at this they have made the perfect dot chart because they have included a generous dot of the paint as well as the name all the information you need including the pigment information so I love that they've done that and yeah I I'm so excited to swatch all these out and then I can see if I really need to add any colors the only problem I can see with this is there's going to be more colors that they add that will be new <laughs> that won't be on here but that's okay um, they are they do add new colors every now and then let me see if I can get this one off you might be better off sticking these in a fridge for a few minutes or the freezer even, but ooh, I'm tearing it. Because of the honey, they're sticking pretty bad and I'm not being patient enough. So I was not near patient enough getting mine off and it did tear a bit. So be patient, maybe pop these in the freezer for a few minutes, but my battery's about to die and I was super excited to share what both of these look like but look at these all 66 stunning colors and they give you a generous dot so I think you could sample it and you could do some mixing and then you could decide your top 10 you need or top 12 you need uh, maybe go that way they are they are a true pleasure I cannot wait to try Paraline Maroon I see lots of colors on here I've been really curious to try let me know if you'd like to see these in a separate swatch video or if you don't care, then I'm just going to enjoy doing it. Like nothing gives me more joy than swatching out watercolors. I know lots of people have different ways of getting cheap thrills. Mine is just swatching watercolors. That when I have a bad day, just swatching watercolors can make me happy. And honestly, these, that slight the slight aroma of the rosemary is just, it just puts you in a peaceful mind. So I'm so excited that, they ought, that Jackson's offers this. I can't, it seems like this wouldn't be the whole line though. I thought they had more than 66 colors, but I'm not sure. But I love that they include it like this and uh, it's even a special little folder. And next, this was a, one of the Black Friday specials at Jackson's. This is a special edition of the Blackwing pencil. This is, um, it says each quarter they release a new limited edition pencil celebrating people, places, and events that have defined our creative culture. Okay, so this is, what did they call this? Um, it, I just saw that it looked rose gold and I thought that was perfect for me. I love gold and rose gold. I kind of always go between the two. This is the Coffee House pencil. It says volume 200. So um, it's actually copper but it just online, online it looked beautiful. So let's take this out of the box and see. I have not opened this yet. <laughs> so I hope I like it. Um, so it comes in a black box and these are made in Japan. It says uh, made in Japan. And I've wanted to try these for a while but I couldn't understand why they were expensive and I couldn't just try one. Okay, so they are, they're copper. Oh, these are pretty. Aren't those pretty? Okay, so they're copper and then they kind of have a rose gold metal um, to hold the eraser. But that is really pretty. So it comes in a set of 12. And yeah, I'll have to sharpen these, but they're very pretty. Um, but I really couldn't understand what the difference between this and a regular uh, pencil. But so far, I can't tell much difference between any of the pencils. So we'll see if I really can tell. Um, I haven't been able to tell a really big difference, honestly. So I can't wait to try these. So if you've tried Blackwing, I'd love to know which one is your favorite. To me, it looks like the white one will be my favorite. Um, but yeah, I haven't really looked into it that much. And so I can't wait to can't wait to try those to see if they're really fun to draw with. And then I did get a few watercolors, of course. Um, so, oh, here's some fun. 
Here's some new fun things that I did get. Uh, Roman Schmal has half pans available now, as well as Schminka. I did get one more Schminka. Uh, we'll start with this one. So this is the Ying Tea. I'm just going to butcher it first. Is this little itty bitty five milliliter tube of Schminka watercolor. This is a really rare pigment and so you got to be ready for the price because it was like $20 for this little five millimeter. It's limited edition and I only purchased it honestly because it's a rare pigment and it's magenta. It's based on the rare and expensive elements. I don't even know how to say <laughs> any of these things. So I'm just going to use this screenshot about what this is. Um, but it is supposed to, it's based on a rare and expensive elements. It says this brand new pigment does not yet have a color index. So it doesn't have any pigment information. All I know is it's really expensive and it's supposed to be rare. And so it is supposed to be a highly granulating quinacridone magenta, which that's what I had said that I needed in my granulating palette was a magenta and I couldn't find one. So I guess Schmincke went and tried to find colors that have that properties. And um, so I can't wait to try it. I hope it lives up to the cost. We will have to swatch that out and see how it is. But because it's so expensive, I already know I'm going to be using it like it's liquid gold because it's so expensive. I knew I would want to try it, so I went ahead and add that to my Christmas list. I did get a few of the new half pans from Roman Schmal. Um, I, I was hoping he would just make tubes next, but half pans are a nice thing because as much as I love the full pans, when I go to travel, I would really love to have half pans. So I picked out some of the colors I already know I like, which are quinacridone gold, and oh, oh my gosh, okay. So it already happened. This, this is a different pigment information. I didn't look at the pigment information before I ordered. Uh, quinacridone gold is usually made with PO48, and now it's made with PR102 and PY150. I thought I was getting the old version. I didn't know I was getting a new version. So make sure you check. Um, there's several pigments that have went away, and I'm sure you watched. So I guess now we're going to have to know which one we're getting. Uh, this one does not even have the pig. This is quinacridone scarlet, and this says pigment information is not available. Um, this one's powder pink. This one's PR233. I'm glad this one's not going away yet. Uh, this one is mineral violet. This is one of my favorite colors from Roman Schmal. I'm really glad to have it in a half pan version. It's PB29 and PB19. And uh, this is cobalt teal. And this is made from PG50. And then lastly, I got just a few more of the Asaro colors because I really enjoyed those. And if you want to try handmade paint that has a lot of the delicate qualities of handmade paints without the high price tag of the A Gallo, then you really might want to try a few of these colors because I found them to be really pretty. I'm still trying to find my favorites and then I do want to keep exploring the brand before I do a full review. I don't want to just swatch them and then do a review on swatches. Does that make sense? So this time I chose Stardust. I also chose Pearly Rose Deep. Um, Stardust is made with PY42 and a pearlescent and Pearly Rose Deep which is made from PR170 and pearlescent. And it's really cute. They spelled pearlescent different. <laughs> and then next I did get a sorrow purple deep and this is made from and this is made from PV23. And then this is agapanthus blue maybe. And this is made from PV29 and PV16. So I think that's going to be gorgeous. And then lastly, I picked out Imperial Moon. And this is made from PR101 and what is that? <laughs> I thought it would be uh, pearlescent. It's C-U-I-V-R-E, which is said as copper. So I don't know if there's actual copper in there or if that is the Belgium meaning for pearlescent. 
but very interesting and I cannot wait to swatch these out. I will be doing that in just a little bit.